Uh, no reira rauranga tira ma uh, nōku nei uh, te onore uh, te waka mei nei uh, ki tō tātou ia mana uh, o tēnei kaupapa uh, Tania rangi ngāngana uh, Simpson um, was of tainui ngai tau uh, Ngāpui descent and has chaired the uh, Challenge Governance Group since 2020. Tani is a professional director uh, with expertise across social policy, uh, the environment, economic development and treaty related matters. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Tania Simpson. Atumari <laughs> O ngā motu, uh, mai tāwahi, mai tua whenua, e mihi ana ki o koutou katoa. Um, I extend my greetings and um, support and reiterate the greetings that have been given to you all today. Uh, for those of you who have come from many directions, um, not only in these lands but beyond, those who have come from overseas to join us as well, um, welcome to you all. Um, it's great that you were able to get here. There's been a few threats of flight disruptions and so forth, a few bumpy trips in, and um, so it's, a, it's, a, it's great to see you all here, and we know that there are others who have tried to get here who haven't yet been able to, but um, we are, we're off to a good start, and it's good to be back together. Uh, we've tried for many years, actually, <laughs> to get together, and a lot has happened in that time to prevent it. Um, so it's, it's, uh, I don't underestimate the, the great feeling that we have that we're finally here. Um, and I'm very sorry for what we've been through in the past few years. Um, it's been a lot and we've, we've lost people as a result of um, the pandemic and we've lost people as a result of the environmental um, disasters that have taken place and we've just lost people from a whole lot of different causes. So um, I'd just like to acknowledge all of those who've passed on in your families and in ours and uh, for the devastation that's occurred even more recently and for all of those people who are going through hard times in all kinds of ways. Um, it's a lot, it's been a lot. So. 2019 to 2023, and we're finally able to get this conference off the ground. Uh, we lost Sir Rob Fenwick, who was the chair of our governance group, and um, and you know has been a big loss to our leadership. Uh, so I also think of him and think of uh, his family, um, and and I hear of the good works that his children do along the lines of what he taught them. And, um, and it's heartening to know that you know we're part of a legacy that we pass on to others and they carry on our works for us. And I, I guess in the back of my mind for this conference, I think of him and I think you know um, he would be very proud to see what has come from the work that has gone on over the years in the Sustainable Seas Challenge. Um, this challenge is all about our relationship with the ocean. Um, and, and we are an island nation. We're an ocean nation and a vast ocean along with a lot of other ocean nations. And in, in ever-changing um, circumstances, ever-changing climate and sea patterns and sea temperatures and um, all sorts happening. So we are working out how to adapt, how to live, how to be, how to engage, how to take care of um, alongside a force that is well beyond us. Um, so we're dealing, and we see more recently, the effects of that change. And, and even just lately, we've seen the collapse of our coastal areas as parts of our, um, our coastline have fallen into the sea. Um, and we've seen uh, communities now 
grappling with retreat and we've seen the warming effects and we've seen species changes in terms of the way that they, where they live and how they behave and we've seen sedimentation impacting species and um, even last week, my marae in uh, Taumatu, um, you may have seen in the news all of the eels that were left stranded. Um, thousands of eels who were during the Tunaheke who were making their way to sea and and just as the way the sea sort of broke through a stop bank and came onto land and the eels thought that was where they needed to go but the sea you know retreated and they were left high and dry by the thousands and um, and and we we're all pointing the finger at each other saying you should have done this and you should have done that actually we all should have done more um, but even if we did do more, there's no guarantee um, that that you know, won't, will be enough because the changes are so significant that we're experiencing at the moment. Um, so this is an opportunity now. We, at our last conference in 2019, we were able to talk a lot about this, the phase one research. We're now able to talk a lot about the phase two research and the phase one research and how it all comes together. And so we're at a really good point in the challenge to be able to see what's come through and how we can bring it together to create uh, impact. So uh, you will hear a lot about synthesis through this conference, because that's a big part of our focus now. It's about how do we take all of the individual parts of research and findings and how do we knit them in a way that makes sense where they can benefit and talk to each other and create a, a longer, more significant, more enduring impact. Um, so that's a lot about what we're thinking about now. There are many um, cogs to this um, group, the Sustainable Seas National Science Challenge. And uh, I just really want to acknowledge and thank everybody who works on it because it is a collaboration of hearts and minds. It's people who are passionate about what, what they do and in relation to the, to the moana. And we all come from different angles and directions and we've got to figure out how to get it all working together. Um, so there may, be, there may be parts to this challenge that you're not necessarily aware of or familiar with. Um, that are things that are going on in the background. We have our international science panel and um, led by Ian Perry from Canada and we have some of our members here today for, from that um, science panel so you may have the opportunity to talk to them. But they, they come from uh, the States, from Canada, from Australia uh, as well as from Aotearoa, New Zealand and they have a look at all of the proposals that are going through, all of the research that's being undertaken, and they give us advice on what else, how to make it stronger, what, what suggestions on, on uh, how we can connect in what is important. And one of the big emphasis that they've been giving to these um, through their advice has been around our connect connectedness beyond Aotearoa. How do we push out the research findings into other spaces so that we're connecting with other peoples and we're all learning from it? Um, we also have the Kahui Māori, led by Anaru Luke, and you met um, Joe earlier, who's also part of the Kahui Māori, and they are looking over all of the work as well, saying, is this maintaining the integrity of Mātauranga Māori um, are there other communities or people that you know um, could be part of this? Are there other thoughts that we need to include in this? We have the stakeholder panel now led by Rich Ford and the stakeholder panel, lots of different stakeholders from different um, areas. So regional and local councils from um, commercial fishing industries, from um, you know, private companies and um, government and so forth, all coming together around the table and looking also at the work that's going on and thinking about the connectedness as well and what it means and um, feeding into the process. We have the um, challenge leadership team led by Julie Hall, uh, who, who are overseeing and, and executing a lot of the um, 
work around the contracting and the management of the projects. We have our Vision Mātauranga leadership group, led by Linda Faulkner, uh, also closely working with the Kahui Māori to look at the integrity of the um, Mātauranga Māori and how, it, how science is engaging with Mātauranga Māori. We have um, MB, and we have an MB observer who comes to all of our meetings, uh, the governance group, and um, the, the, the funding comes through MB, so they're um, looking at the integrity of that part of the process in all of our systems. We have our uh, now synth synthesis teams, and we have four strands, and we have leaders of each of those teams trying to group research in a way that makes sense. We have and had a minister uh, who um, we've, we've been fortunate to have um, ministerial engagement across this science challenge and not all of the challenges have the level of engagement that we've had uh, from ministers. So the ministers have been very interested in what goes on here, want to know about projects, have, have um, regular meetings with Julie around what we're doing and so um, uh, deep interest there. We have uh, Niwa as our host, and John Morgan, the CEO of Niwa, is on our governance group. And um, so he and the Niwa board make sure that everything goes smoothly for us. We have, of course, all of the researchers, all of the scientists, all of the co-development partners, all of the communities that are engaged in the work that's going on here. Um, it goes on and on. We've got our governance group. Um, and you'll meet some of those members today who give high-level oversight. So this is an opportunity for all those working parts to kind of get together and start looking at uh, what's going on across the board um, and, and look at what's been successful and it's not been perfect, um, it, things never are, but an awful lot of good stuff has been coming through. Um, so this is, in my mind, a weaving conference, an opportunity for us, more of a weaving wānanga, for us to get together and look, look at what's going on and try to bring it together. And in that sim synthesis of all of the work, we, we're trying to create something that is larger, more impactful and enduring than our individual parts. You all have the opportunity for lots of sidebars and lots of networking and lots of discussions over cups of tea, and that's a big part of um, what this is all about as well. Um, and, and, and also I'm mindful that a lot of work goes on outside of this challenge. So even though we've got our, our work here, there's a whole lot of other science research community work going on in this space that um, somehow we have to reach out to as well. And so visibility of what we do and communications and so forth is, is very high on our priority at the moment. Last night at dinner, uh, next to the next, uh, next table to me was someone from Ngāti Waiki Whangaruru in the north. Um, and they were here coming to see uh, MB, the Ministry for Business um, Innovation, I, need to put, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> about their whakaaro for an ocean garden. So what they want to do is create a, a garden in the sea to feed their communities. So not a commercial enterprise, a community enterprise where they, they want no one in their community to go hungry for lack of kaimwana. And so they've they, you know, got their ocean in the sea, uh, their garden in the ocean. So um, you know, there's lots of good stuff going on. Anyway, that's about as much as I probably will say at this point. Um, I hope you enjoy, and I look forward to hearing all of the work that's going on. Um, and you know, we have a lot to benefit from. We are getting to the end of our challenge. There's only a, a, a short time left, really. So that's why we're so focused on maximising the impact of all of the work that's been undertaken and seeing what we can do to um, highlight, um, amplify, illustrate the work that's going on and to leave it in a good place uh, that connects to whatever comes next. So we are looking forward, we're talking with MB about what is coming next and how do we ensure continuity, how do we ensure that the relationships that have developed with communities and um, with researchers are not just left, that um, 
you know, that, that, that in, when the next good idea comes along that they will start it all again. That's not where we want to be, that's not useful for anyone. Um, so those conversations are happening now in the background. So, Whaiano, enjoy your time. I would like to now hand over to um, our, our Challenge Leadership Team Director, Julie Hall, um, who many of you, I hope, um, will have had the opportunity to meet. She is a humble um, force and um, she's um, so dedicated to this challenge and we're very lucky to have her. So, um, Julie, 